Willpower is a funny thing. It's like we're all kind of waiting and hoping it will come out of nowhere and surround us and be part of every single decision that we make. I don't think that's how willpower works. I really love the phrase, I don't have any willpower. Like I wasn't born with it. Like the same way I wasn't born with blonde hair and brown eyes, I just also wasn't born with willpower. It just wasn't part of my package. I don't think willpower is something we have or don't have. I believe that willpower is something I choose to use or I don't choose. I apply it to my life or I don't apply it. And I'm not saying that it's easy. It's not like, boom, I decide to apply willpower to every decision I make from here on out. Every time I see Cheetos, I don't care how delicious they are. I am not going to eat one of those. It's not that easy, right? There's more to using your willpower than simply saying, I want to use my willpower today. So what is willpower? And where in the world does it come from? Where are they making that stuff? I want to find out. Willpower would come in handy every time you don't want to go to the gym. Every time you want chocolate. Every time you think about taking a nap instead of doing your homework. Willpower would come in handy when you're in the grocery store, right? And you see delicious cookies or oranges and you go towards the oranges instead of the cookies. Willpower on its own? I don't think that's enough. I need more than that. I need to have something I'm working towards. I need motivation and inspiration. I need to be focused on an end goal. When I think about willpower, I think about persistence and determination. Because willpower is all about restraining yourself from things and pretending that you don't want things while then going towards the things that are supposed to be better for you. But persistence and determination are about being focused on a goal. What is it you really want? What are you working towards? What does this really mean to you? As soon as you know the answers to those questions, it's not about willpower anymore. It's about being focused, persistent, and determined on what it is you want to accomplish in your life, what it is you want for yourself. And that takes the whole self-restraining, willpower, no, I don't want to eat that brownie, oh, I'm so tired on the couch, takes all of that out of the picture. Because instead you're just thinking, I want to be healthier, I want to be exercising, I want to feel good. So in my own real life, one thing that I'm using willpower on right now is restraining myself from lifting weights because of my back injury. I was told that I should not be lifting weights, I need to rest, I can't stretch, I can't teach yoga, all of that stuff, all the things that I love doing, off the table. And so I, if I use willpower, then I feel like I'm restraining myself from things. If I use persistence and determination, and I think about those words instead, that just means that I'm working towards being that healed person who can someday, again, lift weights and compete in competitions and do handstands and teach yoga classes. Those are all the things that I love, and that is what I'm working towards through persistence and determination. I don't even need willpower there, right? Because I am so focused on going forward that I don't need to think about restraining myself from all of that other stuff. So like many folks, one of your goals might be to lose weight. But what if you didn't spend your days restraining yourself from food? What if before you set off for that goal, you think about why this is really important to you? What it is that you're working towards? Where it is that you want to be several months down the road or two years down the road? And then you apply persistence and determination to get there. So willpower is like a tool. It's something that I can use when I need to. But persistence and determination, those are things that I can become. I can become a persistent and determined person. And I know that you can too. Thanks for watching.